So good evening. It's uh, getting on for nine o'clock on a cold January evening. I'm just taking the dog for a walk and I thought I'd take you with me. So there's Snoop Doggy Dog and we will be going around our apartment compound so you can see what life is like in China in the dark. That building there, the five star hotel, blue flashing lights, and up there is our apartment block. And we're going to take you down these alleys. I'll bring you around here in the daytime as well because it's really quite beautiful because the place is very landscaped and all these are houses so we've got we're in a mixed community of houses and apartment blocks but at the moment none of these are really at the moment not many of these are being used most of them are still empty there are a few so we will have a walk around and see if there are any lights on so these lead to gates but when you get to the bottom, the gates are always locked. I think one of, one of these might have, might be finished. They might have people living in, in them, but there are no lights on. But anyway, that's as far as we're gonna go because that gate is locked. So you can see these are locked. But we'll continue with our little walk before bed okay so you can see now more of the apartment blocks that surround these uh, houses uh, I've done a couple of videos in some of these houses I'll put the links down for you so you can go and have a look in we're gonna go this way I know somebody is in one of these houses, this one, but they don't seem to be here very often. There's no lights on. But uh, here's the uh, little fish ponds and pagodas. You can see that these communities are all very nicely landscaped. Whoa, 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 here comes the dog. Get out the way. Snooky don't like dogs. Snooky don't like other dogs. Yeah, so a little pagoda there, fish pond. There are some people on this estate who don't keep their dogs on leash. And they, those people are a pain in the ass. keep Snooky on the leash basically because she's Jack Russell you know 
she has got a short temper when it comes to other dogs sniffing around her and and she's an old dog as well she's 14 years old now and uh, getting a bit long in the tooth and a bit impatient with other dogs so again we could walk down here but there's nothing much of interest down here and it's all the lights are off so I can't see any lights on in the houses the problem is well it's not a problem is that a lot of people have moved away now for the spring break so anybody who was living here and there are not many of them is uh have gone to their respective hometowns to get ready for the spring the spring festival which is when they all go home so that's a dead end up there no lights on and you can hear it's quiet see how quiet it is those apartments are over the road and away from us this is a brand new development it was finished in 2020 so it's only two years old and like I said there's hardly well there's nobody at the moment living here I don't think in all of these houses let's go this way They do love their LEDs on their buildings. No more dead ends down there, no lights on. We could go up there, up that way, but we'll go the long way to give you a, a full tour. Well, not even a full tour, it's much bigger than you can see, you can see there are not many lights on in these apartments either. Let's go this way. We could go that way. That sort of leads us to the outside and we don't need to go that way. And we need to get home, get Snooky to bed. As I mentioned, you can uh, check out the inside of some of these houses in the uh, videos that I link below. Uh, we'll just go down here. So, on these communities, they have a lot of uh, facilities. There's another way down there have a lot of facilities in there you can see there's an indoor children's playground and over here if you can you should be able to hear there's a, a basketball uh, hoop with somebody playing basketball and some green space in there the children's indoor play area and uh, yeah basketball hoops and that over there is a whole new development that's not on our side it's a whole new development so Go back. And there are six of these big apartment blocks, and we are in number six, which is the best one because it has the view over the river, as you've seen. 
Well, there's a hotel over there. And we're now going to be walking back. Uh, down these stairs, these go down into the underground garages and there are like two floors underneath, underneath us here, two floors under here. We'll go down another day and I'll do a video down there. So that's us in the front. You can see it's well lit. The gardening and the landscaping is great. All these palms are closed up for the winter because it's pretty chilly at the moment. You can probably hear the wind. We're getting ready for the spring break. Come on, snooks, let's go. Some big motorbikes in here. Let's go and have a look. They're probably not meant to park them in here, but nice bikes. Wow, nice bikes. I think uh, can't tell what make they are. Really right hardcore. Is that a Harley? I don't know. It might be a Chinese copy. There's no insignia on it at all. Nice bike, so. Over here you can see an outdoor children's playground. There's a outdoor children's playground. Not many children on this site at the moment. And the moon's up there, if you can see it. And each of these buildings have seating areas, common areas underneath the, the building. And in the daytime, the place is kept, kept spotlessly clean by a whole army of what we call IEs or cleaners. Now we're going back home. This is a swimming pool, you can't really see it, that's a swimming pool. Swimming pool is not active at the moment, not only because it's winter, but according to the community, they're trying to find somebody who is willing to take it on to manage it. I don't think the community management want to do it. And here we are. Uh, And that's our window, just uh, there, I think that one. And again, all roads lead out. And there, that's Snooky's walk for the night around our community. I'll do a daytime one so you can see, actually see how beautiful the flowers are and the landscaping. So, so on this uh, chilly January night, I'm going to say bye-bye and uh, hope you have a good one. Facial recognition don't work on me. Mm -hmm. Here we go.
go on. Six. So, if you like going for a little walk, walk with me and Snoop Doggy Dog, don't forget to subscribe, press the bell, share, and do all those good things. So, have a good night. Bye bye. 12 hours later. Good morning. It's nine o'clock the day after the night before and so I'm out walking the dog first thing and we will get to have a look at the community in the daylight and there's the the rubbish collection place uh, and you can see that's a new community that's been built next door not many people in there if any and here's our community and this is the block we live in sixth floor uh, so let's go and walk the dog this is meant to be the coldest period of the year in China Du Han I think it's called but uh, This is a grey day today, not much sun. And this is where we started off last night. And you see a lot of these apartments are still having work done. One or two of them are. One or two of them are. I've got people in but this is like the back door this is the way out the way the cars have to come on the way out there's a gate down there but you're not allowed to walk so there's a guy here running his suitcase but I don't know if he'll be allowed out this back way back way maybe Notice the slippers. But uh, this guy is probably en route to his hometown for the Spring Festival. Um, the Spring Festival sees the biggest migration of human beings in the world every year as people in China go to their hometown. But this year, People are being encouraged not to go by the government, by the national government and the local governments, but it's going to be something difficult to uh, stop. Anyway, let's continue with the walk. Oops, I'm just can hear a cock crow. So even on the edge of the city, somebody seems to have a... Uh, chicken. Wow, it's here. It sounds like it's in the community. And see all the beautiful flowers. These are really strange flowers. I wonder where that chicken is. Somebody has a chicken. You can t keep the town, what's that saying? You can keep the town out of the countryside, but you can't keep the countryside out of the town. So you can see all these nice little, what do you call it, alleys between these houses. It's very quiet, just like I said last night, there's nobody living here really. And most of the workers who've been working have gone home for their spring break holiday, which they'll get about three weeks off. So we're not gonna go all the way down there. But we went down there last night. Dog 
poo bags provided. All these little decorations have been put up over the past few days. Spring break. As we go down here, you can see the flowers are now, the trees are now in flower. These these smell quite nice. I really need smellow vision here. Nice bonsai trees in pots. So the planting and the landscaping in this community is very nice. It's a very delightful place to live. And here we have the pagoda and the, the fish tanks, the fish ponds. That's the back door. Banana trees. Hmm, see people, that's the rubbish bin, there's the rubbish, there's the rubbish bin, there's the rubbish. Looks like there's been a very hungry cat or something after it. A nice pagoda, fish tank, there's the hotel that we saw last night all lit up. And there's the Ai, there's a whole army of Ais who keep the place spotless. Obviously she hadn't been around the corner yet, but uh, yeah, they're at it all day. Every leaf, every bit of litter is picked up by the hardworking Ais. They wash everything down as well. It's not just sweeping up everything. All these pieces of furniture are washed down. And we could go that way up to my apartment. But we're just going to continue the way we went uh, last night. And maybe take you around the front. Let's see more of the buildings in this community. Yeah, dead end up there. As I said last night, underneath, underneath all these houses, turn around because the dog lead, all these houses, underneath all these houses are the uh, car parking and there's a sort of a mezzanine as well in between the ground floor and the lower ground, ground car parking. There's a lot of these, uh, a lot of these houses have the builders in because what you buy when you buy these houses you just buy the concrete shell we could go back up there or we could go that way but uh, we're gonna go this way we're gonna go this way you can see up here there are security cameras but they never seem to be switched on yet they don't have the red lights hmm. i think we went up there last night we're going 
Guði svei. So these communities, you know, they have an army of workers. They have office staff, admin staff, people who sort of manage the whole community. Uh, you have the IEs who do the cleaning. Uh, you have the gardeners who uh, obviously do these beautiful gardens. And here's a, here's a door that's open. Let's see what's happening in here. You can see work has started on this house. There's a guy in there, so we'll just disappear. So, yeah, uh, as I was saying, there are gardeners. There's a, a sort of electrician, plumber guy, handyman guy on call. So if there's something goes wrong in the apartment, of course, there's the uh, security guys 24 at 24 7 on the gate and all these communities are gated you know you can't just wander in off the street you have to be known you have to get through the face recognition or have a card like i do there's another i so this is uh the entrance to the apartments it's all very nice and you can see if we go in here uh, when we go in here inside those are the lifts to get into the apartments and many of them have these nice little Zen gardens letterboxes but you don't get letters what happens is the delivery guys leave your parcels in these drop boxes you come along and you scan the code with your phone and boop the box opens and there's the security guys so uh, nice little places to sit security guide is one of the uh, admin managers <laughs> These guys have been scrubbing the floors, cleaning the floors. Spring break is a traditional time when things get cleaned, so I'm guessing that's why they've been going around cleaning everything. Here's another one of the workers. more workers in there <coughs> another office and we're going to be walking around now until we get to like where the green and the basketball court was see in this in this one there's another little another zen garden in there Public artworks, whatever they mean, who knows? <sighs> These are little ponds, but I've never seen them with water in, apart from when it rains. all these transplanted trees have need to be held up against the typhoon winds because they do come down occasionally even the little trees have these props keeping them up keeping them safe 
because the winds can get ferocious around here. See more, more cameras there, but we can see they've put the decorations up for the the spring festival. And this, uh, if you didn't see it very well last night, there's the in there indoor playing, playing kids playing area. And uh, basketball, badminton court, basketball. I don't know what the dog wants to do. Come on. Come on, let's go. I'm needing a cup of coffee now. So, yeah, so we're just going to head back to the department now. But you can see the level of care. Is that the right word? The level of care that goes into these communities. How how nice it is to live here. See, it's quiet. Got big sky. Unfortunately, it's not blue today. The community is well laid out. And the landscaping, it's just, you know, it's just so nice. It's just so relaxing to live here. I think it's relaxing at the moment mainly because there's not many people living here. And I guess that when all of these apartments are full, it's going to be busy. And when this little estate is full, it's going to be much busier. But we've been here now for six months and it's really nice. Here's the uh, children's pele area there. People live in there. The indoor meeting area is there. Where people can go and sit in the summer. Cleaner working. You see it in there, in there. You can go and sit down with your friends, play mahjong. They too have a little uh, Little Zen garden. And actually down here leads on to the the swimming pool area. So here you have changing rooms and here you have the swimming pool. Yes. Like I said, not in use at the moment because apparently they're waiting for a, a company to take the, the contract to run it. I don't think the community wants to run it. They want an external company to do that. Foot bath and showers. I'm just, ho I'm just hoping that uh, maybe this summer they'll get the uh, they'll get the swimming pool up and running. It'd be nice to just come out of my apartment, which is that one down here, and have a swim when it's really hot. But truthfully, my fingers aren't crossed because. These things are going to take time, I guess. That new block of apartments over there, when, when we go up onto the roof up there, you can actually see they've got a, a much nicer um, swimming pool. And at night it's all lit up, so 
I don't know. We are going to go over to the hotel. See if they've got a gym and or swimming pool that's not too expensive to join. That might be nice. And here we are back at our apartment. So, so that's the night and day tour of my community. Uh, hope you enjoyed it. Hope you can subscribe if you like my sort of content. I know it's all a bit weird, but hopefully you get some enjoyment out of it. I, I do. And if you do get some enjoyment out of it, uh, please subscribe, like, click the button for the notifications, share, leave me a comment and all that good stuff. So thanks very much. See you next time. Bye bye.